Welcome back, Administrator. Yo, JP Nation. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's your boy Maxim as usual back with another video with the launch of Zenless Zone Zero or CZZ just around the corner. There's been a lot of buzz and speculations. Some people are saying that CZZ might be the game to dethrone weathering waves. But today I want to explore why CZZ won't kill weathering waves and why both games are worth your time and enjoyment. And with that out of the way, before jumping into it, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also a like on this video which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Rhythm. Let's dive into it. First off is the initial hype and expectations. Let's address the hype of ZZZ. It's generating a lot of excitement and that's for a good reason. Hoyoverse has a track of record of creating engaging and visually stunning games. But does that mean Weathering Waves is in trouble? Not necessarily. Each game brings something unique to the table, and there is plenty of room in the game world for both. Weathering Wave has captivated players with its challenging bosses, intricate dodge block counter system, and a beautifully diverse world. The depth of its gameplay mechanics and the immersive storyline keep players coming back. Weathering Waves has carved out its niche, and its loyal player base isn't going anywhere. On the other hand, ZZZ offered different experience. Hoyoverse has incorporated lessons learned from people games, promising improved optimization and accessibility. ZZZ aims to attract players with its fresh gameplay, vibrant graphics and an engaging new world. It's exciting to see what ZZZ will bring, but it doesn't have to be all at the expense of Weathering Waves. The beauty of having both ZZZ and Weathering Waves is that they offer complementary experience. While Weathering Waves delivers intense skill-based combat and complex mechanics, ZZZ might offer a more casual yet equally enjoyable gaming experience. Experience. Players can switch between the two, enjoying the best of both worlds without feeling the need to commit exclusively to one game. Competition in gaming industry is a good thing. It drives innovation and improvement. The success of ZZZ can push the developers of Weathering Ways to enhance their game further and vice versa. This kind of healthy competition benefits us, the players, by providing continuously evolving and improving games. Moreover, the gaming community thrives on diversity. Different games cater to different tastes and moods. One day, you might be in the mood for the strategic depth of Wuthering Waves, and the next, you might want the vibrant energy of Zenless Zone Zero. Having a variety of game enriches the overall gaming experience, and personally, I'm not going to be uh, giving up on Wuthering Waves, as the developers have been listening to the player base, and they showed sort of like an improvement. Uh, I know that the launch was some sort of like disaster, but I really enjoy the game so far. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys like think. If Are you guys going to be sort of like uh, moving ahead from uh, weathering ways into ZZZ if uh, the developers are not showing sort of like improvement or um, sort of like signs for the future. I want to know. Which leads me to my next point, which is the key to take away here is that you don't have to choose between ZZZ and weathering waves. Both games are designed to be enjoyed and explored. Jump into ZZZ to see what the new adventures await, but don't forget the thrilling challenges that Weathering Waves offers. By appreciating both games, you're maximizing your gaming fun. So, in conclusion, ZZZ won't kill Weathering Waves, I don't think so. Nor should it. Both games have their unique strengths and charms. Embrace the variety, enjoy the different experience, and let the game evolve and improve through healthy competition. There's enough room for the gaming world for both CZZ and Weathering Waves to shine, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, every gacha game reach as at some point at least reaches like a point where there is no content to go through. So um, yeah, you can just like switch in between, knowing the fact that um, yeah, the the content is kind of dead in CZZ. Let's go to Weathering Waves. If Weathering Waves content is kind of slow, let's go to CZZ and vice versa. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to like to keep this video like short, especially that I've been seeing uh, on different forums and especially on Twitter. Like when I wake up in the morning, I see a lot of uh, people talking about different subjects and so on. And I saw that people are like, oh, ZZZ is going to be killing uh, weathering waves and stuff like that. So I just wanted like to jump into a video and make it short, to be honest with you, um, talk to you guys and so on. But uh, I really want to like to... Um, to uh, to know your opinion but um yeah like i said thank you all for watching and supporting my channel if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment with your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more content whether weathering waves or ccc uh, depending if i enjoy the game let's continue to explore enjoy these amazing games uh together 
and uh, bye bye <laughs>